Hello again everybody, welcome back to Booze Tues. Today we're going to be cracking into the Twitch Legends U2's collection by unboxing the ninja figure. So without further ado, let's open this thing up. Alrighty, I am super excited. I mean, I say that every time, but I'm actually really excited to get this one out because this figure looks really, really cool. All right, let's get it out of the protection. And here it is. So already, I really like the sleeve. I don't think I have any other YouTube boxes that have a uh, bright yellow on the front of the sleeve there. So that's gonna look really cool with all the other boxes. So on the front of the sleeve here, of course we have Ninja in big letters right there. We have the concept art right there, YouTube's collectibles, and on the side here. It looks like we have a big assortment of weapons. It looks like we got some arrows, we got some rockets, we got some torpedoes it looks like some fireworks maybe and it looks like they're all coming from a big cloud of smoke I wonder if those are coming from ninja or to ninja but anyway on the back of the box here it looks like we just have some more of that smoke from all those weapons and on the other side here we just have some more weapons and on the bottom of the sleeve here it says twitch giant ant which I'm guessing giant ant is probably a partner but without further ado let's take off this sleeve and let's check out the box and it looks like he is number one of the Twitch Legends collection. And I really like how um, instead of just using like the regular letters, they actually use the actual um, Twitch logo, which is pretty cool. And obviously, as you can tell, the front of the box here is also a bright yellow, as is the top of the box here. And we just have the same kind of decor on the front of the box here. We have the concept art right there, ninja right there, vinyl figure, and all the other stuff. Then on the side of the box here, it looks like we have another picture of the concept. And it looks like, is that a hawk in the, in the top there? I'm not sure. And then we got someone running on the bottom there. Then we have different shades of blue in the background, it looks like. And on the back of the box here, wow, we have a big assortment of characters. So I'm guessing maybe these are characters from Ninja's favorite video games. They don't really look like Fortnite characters to me, so I'm not exactly sure where they all are from. But of course, we have the description of the figure, and it says, A relentless record breaker. A winning trophy winner er. A total legend. Then it looks like we have Ninja in the middle of all these different characters on these sides there. And on the final side of the box here, we just have the characters on the side there that are like kind of half on the side, half on the back. We got a big dragon head right there. And on the bottom, we have a message that says, Lore tells of an unstoppable competitor. Alrighty, of course, we have another picture of Ninja's face on the top of the box here. And let's open this thing up and let's check out the message on the inside of the box. And it says, Legend Unlocked. And it looks like the background is kind of a black with some blue tiles on it. Alrighty, let's get this thing out of the box and let's check out the inside box design. Oh, that's really, really cool. The aura of the design looks like an old western, but all the buildings scream futuristic. So we got Ninja on a bunch of billboards on the side there and then on that side as well. And overall, it looks really, really cool. That's probably like the most detail we've gotten on the inside of the box before. Alrighty, without further ado, let's check out the figure. And here it is. This guy looks sick. So it's my understanding that Ninja actually has a pot figure as well. Um, I don't own it. I've just seen pictures of it, and it looks like it's pretty similar. Um, the only differences are kind of like... A different sculpt for the hair and then um, he doesn't have the bandana on in the pot figure and he's not holding that mouse um, so I think that the U2s has a tad bit more detail in it so on the top of the figure here of course we have ninjas classic blue hair so we have a big swoosh in the front there then we have a little bit of hair going to the side there but overall it's kind of just in that big swoosh on the front there then of course we have the classic ninja bandana and I kind of wish they put the uh, the ninja logo on it because I think that his bandana has the ninja logo on it does or, I might be wrong I might be wrong but I think it does but it looks like we just have a regular yellow bandana all the way around it's tied on the back there and no ninja logo which I don't know I think it would have looked better with one then of course we have his dark blue bandana and I really like how they added that in that's a unique aspect that no other figure has which I love when they do stuff like that and it looks like it goes all the way around and it looks very good. There's like wrinkles in it and everything. Um, it looks like it's one of those like sock bandanas that you pull up on like all sides. And even though you 2s don't have noses, I like how they actually added in the detail where his nose would be. So like the uh, 
the bandana is sticking out a little bit and it has a little bit of uh, ruffles in it, I guess. Then it looks like he's wearing a full on blue ninja suit, which looks really, really cool. So we have a light blue uh, jacket on the front here or like a sweatshirt. We got the drawstrings right there and we have yellow on the sleeves and the bottom of the shirt there. It looks like he's wearing a dark blue shirt underneath that and then his pants and his uh, shoes are different colors of blue and it looks like his shoes actually have some purple in them as well. Is that the ninja underwear? I really hope that's the ninja underwear, that would be really funny. Then for his little accessory, he is clutching a mouse and he's clutching it pretty tight. He's got it wrapped around his wrist right there. And then we have the mouse hanging down right here and I like how they put the, like, the little USB port in there as well. Um, and it looks like that's purple with blue. On the bottom of the shoes here, of course, we have YouTube's collectibles right there and YouTube's.com right there. And overall, this figure looks pretty awesome. So it looks like for the uh, decor and all the messages on the box, it looks like they went serious with it. But I kind of wish that they included Ligma somewhere in there. Make a little joke in it, you know? Because besides Fortnite, I think Ligma is something that Ninja is very well known for. Even though I'm sure he doesn't like being associated with it. Um, but overall, I think the figure looks really cool. I really like the hair. The hair came out very, very good. It's a very cool shade of blue as well. And overall, the figure just looks really good all put together. Like everything on the figure matches and it just looks super, super good. So you two did a fantastic job on this figure. So obviously this figure is sold out like most of the figures I unboxed. So let's check out the resale value of the Ninja figure. And so this guy was in stock for, I believe, 14 days. I think all the Twitch Legends were. So the Twitch Legends were Ninja, Tim the Tatman, which the unboxing is coming next, and Pokimane. And I believe that they were all on the site for 14 days. Instead of a sellout thing, it was like a timer. So they would just be gone after 14 days. And usually when that happens, the, the figures actually go for a lot more money. For some reason, I don't know why. I think it's because people think that they have more time than they do and then when the final day actually arrives they aren't ready for it and i'm only saying that just because the same thing happened with una's honest i don't know um if any other figures had a timer besides the twitch legends and the una's honest ones but both of those go for a good amount of money and it looks like ninja is following that curve where it looks like he's going for about 75 dollars at the minimum that's definitely in the top tier for figures so I'll give you guys one final 360 of this figure. As I said before, it looks really good. I'm very happy with it. The quality on it is amazing and all the detail looks fantastic. But that's all I have for you guys for this video. If you guys liked it, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe for more YouTube's unboxings. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next video.